That's what you're printing? What I'm doing right now is starting this printer up over here. Ah. And uh, we'll select the small object to print. Octo print. Delta make. There's some hollowness in in, in the objects that print, or printed out. Most of these objects are printed hollow to um, save plastic to make them lightweight. Mm. A roll of a reel of plastic, you know, it's like yeah, it's nylon right. or something. Yeah, it's uh, plastic, um, has to be called PLA, which is a bioplastic, it's made out of corn. Really? Yeah, and it, it melts and can be used to uh, form any type of, depending on kind of geometry you'd like. It's a very versatile plastic. Now it's like being gradually fed in, and when it gets to that to there uh, it exactly. gets melted it comes from the, the spool down this guide tube into this heated nozzle that's a that's the extruder portion of the 3d printer so it has a heated nozzle which <laughs> melts the plastic wow. and yeah, it's like a cooling fan and there's a cooling fan to uh, cool the plastic and to cool off the heat and heat it uh, nozzle. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, and is there a, a meetup here or next door? There'll be a meetup starting shortly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. And then they got the Look at all this. Yeah, like right out of a mold. I broke it, but this was their <laughs> little. Um, you know, thing that sh shows the shore factors going from hard, mm -hmm. you know, wow. I think it's ABS, all the way out to this you know, really flexible stuff. Yeah, he was talking about how he printed <laughs> like an like S4 Audi car, yeah. and the tires were rubber, hubcaps, you know, were hard, yeah. so the whole print oh, job. Yeah, they wouldn't give me one like that. They have no. a really cool one, and I'm like, hey, can I take that as a sample? And they're like, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so they gave me this, a stick ship. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a game thing. But anyway, you can see the rubber in there. Um, and, uh, and then I, I, if I had had my wife's help, we might have had like a nicer spread. <laughs> <laughs> I got some sodas and water in here. I'm, I went into the 
went into Costco and just grabbed a bunch of stuff and ran out. <laughs> so, um, but oh, I think it's the company. So I'm really glad we got all the cool stuff. And then if you're open to it, if you're doing something, and I can video it or yeah, shoot some photos of it, that'd be great. Right. So, hard so why don't we go around? <laughs> we know uh, Doug started this place, right? Yeah, yeah, me and a uh, good guy. So we get excited to meet at a makerspace downtown Orlando. We've got Family Lab, which has been great, you know, support and guidance for us. We really want something kind of what's going on with Orlando. A huge tech boom going on here. So we hit the ground running, bought a bunch of great tools, not just 3D printing, but we have uh, wood router CNC's, we have laser cutters, welding. So back in the warehouse, if you get a chance before you leave, feel free to walk back there and wander around yeah, we love, and see what we got going on. Uh, actually, I'm at Bugs in like a month and a half, two months ago. Two months ago. Night, we were just walking out of the hideaway one night, and uh, we actually, he was actually sitting next to us, and I don't know what, I think you were the one actually went in and grabbed him and said, hey, talk to my boyfriend. <laughs> So yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a great community here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been doing 3D for the last 15 years. I, I've been working. I, I worked in 3D Studio, uh, at least four for about a week, and then I went right into Max as soon as that came out. And uh, I moved to Orlando in '98, and I've been doing. Uh, well, I did video games for about 10 years, and before that, I was doing some simulation for about six, and now I'm back in simulation, uh, working at Cubic. It's a big military contract, and uh, yeah, we'll talk more about it. But uh, now I'm on the side, I got uh, this, which is uh, two. It's actually two projects. One is um, I'm learning how to uh, cast in slip and clay, and I would like to actually be able to print in clay and then just fire it right out of there. But until that time, yeah. um, I'm going to be working on the old-fashioned slip casting, which is you take the investment and you basically. Put it in around. Uh, you, you basically pour a two-part or three-part mold out of plaster, and uh, so that these are actually Adventure Brothers characters. Uh, I'm hoping to do a Patreon account and get some get some of the fans to help donate my R and D for slip casting. So that brings me to this, which is um, in Japan uh, about ten years ago. This. Uh, Things started up where I mean they, they, they have a real doll culture in Japan, and um, yeah, and, and in Germany actually about 300 years ago they created these ball jumping dolls, um, and they were pretty articulated. But now like, we've got uh, stuff coming out of Japan is like 24 points of articulation and upwards of that, so they've got really highly articulated uh, models. And a lot of the things are created with very lifelike uh, face-ups, is what they call them. Uh, face-ups are basically where uh, the person who owns the doll will actually like put a lot of detail into like the quality of the makeup of the face. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is basically uh, do them on my own. I, I built that all myself in uh, ZBrush, actually. Although originally I made the model in 3D in 3D Studio years ago, and it's like just repurposed it and I sliced it up. And I'm actually learning like things like this joint's too big. Um, but anyway, all this was printed out on my MakerBot. And uh, I actually, uh, I did this vapor, this is vaporized. So if you ever want to see what vaporization looks like, um, so this is vaporized and this is not. Um, they're the same uh, thickness. Yeah, you can pass that around. Um, actually, these are vaporized too. Um, I, I basically have a, uh, a, a rice cooker. <laughs> And uh, it's an old rice. It never made rice really well, so <laughs> I, uh, I I donned a you know I, I basically look like I'm cooking crystal meth or something. But, uh, uh, I, I basically put on some protective equipment and I throw a tiny little cap full in there at you know full heat <laughs> and throw it in for about 15 seconds and I will actually walk away because the, the vapors go right through the mask, so it's like I'm not even wearing one. But yeah, so I'm like I'm very very like you know. I don't want to get any kind of damage. So I basically put it in for 15 seconds and then take it right out and it basically just zaps it with a beautiful, um, it like takes all of the, 
uh, almost all of it away. I mean, you can still see it. But this, I think the head was actually uh, two, uh, two millimeter. Um, this might be yeah, one. I tried it before. I'm trying to. Yeah, this is one millimeter. Okay. This, this, this is not polished. Actually, the back side is polished and the front side isn't. You don't have to do the understanding. Yeah, yeah. 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 so that's yeah. 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 It's going much <coughs> further than that. I'm actually going to make an automated and stuff like that. And the automaton. So I'm bringing the porcelain that I'm going to wear there and make porcelain automatons. Yeah, that's what you So that's so that's where I want to go. Yeah. And I, th I think I can probably sell those yeah. for like twenty five K because collectors of ball jointed dolls will pay twenty five thousand dollars for just a ball jointed doll. Not a moving ball jointed doll. I don't know. But wow, so, man. Yeah, that's wild. Wow. Yeah. So that's awesome. That's what I'm wearing. Is that like too? Um my name is Brittany. Uh, I don't do any three D modeling or three D printing. But uh, Present him with ideas, and she then translates into 3D models so that I can make fun things with them, like yeah. necklaces and the deer antlers. Oh, yeah, deer antlers. Sweet. So. Yeah, she's, she's definitely giving me lots of ideas. And 3D Muse. Yeah, yeah, she's 3D <laughs> Muse. <laughs> All right. My name is Dan Swanson from Clearwater. I've been a freelance technical illustrator since 87 when Adobe Illustrator first came out. Oh, wow. The, I was in the Chicago area. Been making my living, raising a family, um, and in the 90s, I first got interested in 3D, and uh, I've had uh, the Strata product and Form Z, and most recently uh, the Foundry Moto. I've had that for about four years, and now they're in version eight. Uh, started in version three, and uh, in version eight, uh, or in seven and eight, uh, they introduced uh, an add-on called Mesh Fusion. And this is my first shape waste product. It's a stain that's their stainless steel material. Pass it around if you want. Stainless, stainless steel with 40% bronze infused. And uh, that was made with mesh fusion, where mesh fusion is basically you take a quad me quad meshes and it do, it make, it lets you do Boolean operations that's subtracting, uh, intersecting, etc. with with quad based meshes. So the ring is basically a, like a, a blob, and I took a um, like a, a spool shape, kind of like a, a butterfly yo-yo, uh -huh. uh, for the inside, and then uh, I made a quad uh, five-point star extrusion, and I subtracted that out uh, from the ring, and then uh, Mesh Fusion makes um, a beautiful watertight quad mesh. And you just save it in whatever format, and uh, uh, Shapeways took it with no no corrections or anything. Um, <laughs> wow! And that that particular ring for stainless it cost about twenty two bucks. And uh, wow, that's it. Yeah. Is it hollow or did you? No, it's solid. Oh, it's solid. It's solid. solid. And uh, it's an interesting. You can see um, if you look on YouTube and you look up uh, Shapeways. You can find uh, a video that that shows how the stainless process works. Oh. It's a stainless steel powder yeah. that's mixed with glue okay. that comes out of the, the printer, and you can see the striations yeah. in the layers. Uh, and actually, then, actually, in shapeways, they don't use that. They, they no, use no, uh, the uh, casting method. You no, know, this is oh. different. I, I, I'm telling you, this I saw the wild. video. The stainless is different. Yeah, yeah um, it was also a while ago. It's too. powder mixed. Oh, 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 did they change it? I might have changed it. Well, that's not. Uh, anyway, it depends, it depends on who yeah. they have outsourced. They, they have been perhaps. working through different ways they're going to do it, and I, I don't know. Um, but I know that they've been going through different iterations of printers. So probably it, it, that, that might have been printed on that printer, but like the new ones is that's, uh, that's using, awesome. Uh, yeah. You know. However, they did it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I, I also I have the fact uh, that it's printed. I have a, um, this is the same model printed in uh, strong and flexible plastic. Oh, okay. Now you got to test it before then. That's awesome. Sorry, guys. I'm so how much was this one? That one is, uh, I don't know, seven or eight bucks, something like that. Or maybe less. Um, now, the progression of materials goes all the way through platinum. And platinum costs three grand. For this same ring. Three grand? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not bad. But the, if somebody really the 14, ring, they want them in platinum. 14 carat um, uh, yellow, rose, and white gold uh, are about 1200 
And but you can also on the low end you could take that stainless and have it plated with 24 karat gold. And that's a lot cheaper. <laughs> or you can have it printed or cast in brass and have that gold plated. But anyway, um, I'm real excited about it. I'm gonna do more um, designs based on this basic format. Um, and I'm also looking at uh, multi-material items. I'm thinking about making a like a, a hot plate that you can put like a it's like for putting a serving dish on on a on a table. You can make the, the frame out of stainless and then have a, a ceramic uh, insert because the shapeways can print ceramic as well. Let me just take a photo with you with the two of them. Sure. And then uh, 